Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little screen comparison here between the uh, Xiaomi Mi Mix on the left and the Samsung Galaxy S8 because I think that the S8 actually takes a lot of things uh, from the uh, Mi Mix which came with like the first bezel-less display which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, if you see my unboxing, you'll see my first reaction to the phone. Uh, it was truly epic. Uh, but obviously the S8 now coming with a very similar kind of design actually. Uh, as you can see, uh, with the very minimal kind of bezel here on the phone. Uh, I think that uh, if I'm going to be strict, the Mi Mix still goes a little bit further though, you know, in terms of the uh, bezel-less design, at least on the top uh, and the sides here. Uh, at the bottom you do have this little bit of bezel, which is, you know, a little bit weird, which does house the front-facing camera. Uh, but I've got to say, Xiaomi did uh, amazing when it came to making a new uh, kind of concept for a phone here. And I'm still amazed whenever I actually use this phone. Uh, I'm not amazed about the smudginess on the back though, that's you know a little bit annoying. Uh, but if we just uh, compare here the screens on the two devices, we can see uh, I think uh, Samsung does have an advantage in terms of the uh, you know contrast levels etc because while this is a quite an epic display, it doesn't have uh, the AMOLED technology, so you will notice like from angles it's not quite as uh, punchy as what you're getting with Samsung's latest phones, uh, which uh, you know is a big advantage here. Another thing with the Samsung phone is that you can ups upscale the actual resolution uh, to, uh, I think, 2K now as well. Uh, so you can see we do, we do have a weird aspect ratio anyway, which is 2,220 by 1,080. Uh, it used to be obviously full HD, but now they've got this like weird aspect ratio, which does like uh, make the, the, the phone size a lot smaller. Uh, but you can also just upscale like this quite easily. And uh, what ha happens then is that the display becomes even sharper than uh, like uh, full HD. Well, then again, I can't really notice a huge difference between uh, full HD and uh, like 2K anyway. So it may be detrimental to your battery life to actually do that. You can't do that with the Mi uh, Mix though, but it is rumoured that they are like bringing out uh, Mi Mix 2 very shortly, uh, which will come with like a 2K display as well as, uh, you know, uh, a nice, uh, probably a smaller form factor with the same kind of bezel-less design. So I'm really looking forward to that if Xiaomi does make, you know, another uh, Mi Mix phone. Uh, but yeah, you know, what you can see here, I think the Samsung is definitely going to be more pocketable in terms of, you know, the uh, size of the phone uh, overall. Uh, so And definitely the camera as well is going to be uh, a lot better, I think, uh, overall, because obviously it's got a higher rated uh, sensor. I was a little bit uh, disappointing on the Xiaomi Mi Mix that they didn't put a high-end camera in there. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little comparison here of the uh, Xiaomi Mi Mix and the Galaxy S8 screen technology. Uh, definitely looking forward to the Mi Mix 2. Hopefully they'll bring that out soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.